Ah, looks like I found one of those fuse doors. Okay, let's open this bad boy up and we'll get the loot inside. What's that? Deadly zombies. Zombies of a skull on the nameplate are deadly. They'll tear you to pieces if you're not careful. Progress through the game and level up to take them on later. Why is the game telling me about that now? Oh no! What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with a Dead Island 2 tips and tricks video today. And this is for the early game. So first thing to let you know is that the loot does respawn in areas you've been to before. And a really good room to revisit is the movie star Emma's bedroom walk-in closet. Make sure you come in here periodically when you return back to the Beverly Hills Manor and jack everything in this room, including that loot box which gives you a bunch of really cool materials to upgrade your weapons and stuff with, as well as a whole stack load of money to do even more upgrades. So pretty good stuff, this one. Now, when you unlock the NPC Carlos, this is going to be your first NPC you get that you can actually trade with. Now, initially, the reason you're going to be talking to him is to get the curveball, which is the throwable item meat bait. Uh, but just don't run away from him straight away. He's got some other interesting items here which are free, including a med kit blueprint as well as a perk called Balanced. And you're going to want to make sure you grab these free baseball bats because they're pretty good weapons early doors and they don't cost anything at all. But guess what? You're not done there because what you're also going to want to get are these fuses. Make sure you do grab the fuses at every opportunity you have and if you don't have enough money, sell your grey weapons because you can get a few hundred dollars for every one that you sell. And if you still don't have enough, go ahead and sell one of your green ones that you're not too fond of. I've got two of these bats, so I'm just going to get rid of one of them. And it leaves me with two good green weapons and the $3,000 that I need now to get these two fuses. They're going to come in really handy for the locked rooms. There's no other place I'm aware of you get fuses other than the tradesmen. So make sure you do grab those guys. And when you come out of the villa for the first time, you're going to see there's a locked door to your right. This is the garbage area for that particular uh, mansion. And there's going to be a zombie in here that you need to take out. And you're going to come across your first fuse box. Click on that and the door will open. Now, once these doors are open, they permanently open. And inside, you are going to find some extremely good loot. At the end of the day, those fuses were $1,500 each, so we expect to find some good stuff inside. And of course, we do find some zombies. Oh my god, that chopped him in half. <laughs> uh, we're going to find some zombies as well. Uh, this was my first time exploring this one. This zombie caught me off guard here, but I was able to dispatch it. Now, this brings me on to my next tip. You can see here, the whole room is now covered in fire. No problem at all. Grab yourself a jerry can of water, and you can go ahead and put those flames out. And this also works with things like acid later on. You can use water to douse the floor to clear the acid as well. So just another really good point to point out here uh, is that you can wash the flames away. Um, so now we've done that, we can go around and collect all the loot. And like I said, you're going to find some really good items inside here. Loads of craftables for your weapons for the, the crafting table. But that's not the main feature of these rooms. What you're also going to find in these rooms is a giant weapon chest, which is what that is there. The Zomproof Slayer Horde chest. And it opens up and boom, out pops a weapon. It's always going to be a good weapon. And as far as the rarity goes, that's going to depend on your level. I'm only level four right now, so it's only going to pop out a green weapon. But as I level up throughout the game and come across more of these boxes, I am going to go ahead and be pulling out like a legend, rare and possibly legendary weapons from these. So you could potentially wait till later on in the game if you really want to, to open these up. But if you do it now, it provides a really good, solid, strong weapon for you to use early game, which can be the difference between getting eaten alive or surviving, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is a really good one. It does criticals when you have to strike fast. So pretty good pull there. Okay, and here's another fuse box door. We're going to open this one and see what loot we get in here. And as you saw from the intro, I came a cropper here because... I didn't realize there was a really strong firefighter walker in here. They are immune to like fire and electric, like elemental damage. Um, so it's going to have to be blunt force trauma for this firefighter. Now these guys, because 
this is like a white, like a little white skull uh, next to its name there. It means it's extremely strong. If this thing touches me, I most likely will die just like that. Okay, let's try that again. Um, okay, but okay, yep. Yeah. All right, let's try that one more time. And okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Okay, fantastic. Let's just get rid of this guy. Boom, ladies. It was like a boss. It literally was like fighting a boss. This thing. It was that difficult to kill. We had so much HP. On to my next tip. The floor's covered in electric and you can't get in. What do you do? Check out the fuse box, lob a weapon at it, and boom, you can break it. You can do this to turn electric and stuff off, off the floors. Plus, you can do it to open some doors as well that you can't get into. So if there's a locked door, have a look and see if there's a fuse panel nearby for you to throw something at so you can try and get that door open. And um, Sometimes maybe worthwhile carrying a couple, maybe one or two, not so great weapons because then you can use those to throw at fuse boxes should you come across them and of course by opening up the uh, special locker in here we got the claws which i mean let's just face it it looks like wolverine right Don't looks pretty good and i mean it's def was definitely door. worth lots of critical hits going in and uh, massive damage pretty good stuff these are actually pretty cool and they're even better once you actually put a mod on them um check this out Another tip here, kick them into the water, get my electric sword out, bang. We can also make the floor electric by using our elemental weapons. Okay, you will make your way over to eventually get to this like influencer's house called the Goat Pen. And this one here is a really, really good early game tip. Um, so I want to share this one with you right now and show you exactly how to do it. And when you jump down through the skylight window, that door to the left will be locked initially. You'll see there's a room over on the left hand side here that's locked. Uh, it says you need a key card or something to get in. No, you don't. So what are you going to do? Find this room. Okay. And you'll see this lovely looking zombie here. Her name is Goat Pen Melissa or Marissa. Um, you're going to go ahead and dispatch her. She's got a bit more HP than some of the other zombies around. And that's because she's holding something very nice, which is the Goat Pen key card. Once you get the Goat Pen, pen, key, goat pen key card, <laughs> uh, you need to run back upstairs and you can exit back through the door, which was originally closed. Okay, so let's open that door up. Let's go through. Um, and when you get up to the stairs here, make your way past Andrew Tate's cars and across the roof once again to the left. And you'll see there is like a wall here made up of glass panels. Just smash the glass panels and you'll see there's like a little ledge you can jump down below like a balcony area. Uh, just jump down here and you'll see the window there. Go ahead and smash it. The alarm's going to go off, but don't worry. It kind of goes quiet once you walk in. And this looks like another influencer's bedroom. Holy Toledo! Somebody had fun. Good loot stuff around here as well, so make sure you do check around this area thoroughly because there is some boxes and whatnot that you can pick up. Also, my wrench that I threw through the window because I did try to jump from there to there. Didn't quite work. I died from full damage until I worked out how to actually get into this place by jumping down from the roof. Some pretty cool artwork in here, which is kind of cool. Um, but what you're looking for is the blueprint on the table over here. And it's called the weighted perk. And that is going to be really helpful. Also, throwing knives. Look at that. I just threw a knife at this zombie. Done some pretty good damage, like three quarters of their life. So don't be frightened to throw your weapons. Oh my god, what the heck? That is actually horrifying. Let's get rid of this zombie quickly. <laughs> now, frying your, your weapons is really good. Like, you're going to do some really good damage. It will help you take out enemies. Here on the workbench, we've now got the weighted perk we just collected. I did backtrack back to the villa to go and do this on the workbench. And I suggest you do the same thing. Because adding this weighted perk to your baseball bats and your wrenches um, or your hammers, anything that's kind of blunt, is going to cause it... You know, it's going to cause your damage to increase by a decent amount. It's like a... Huge damage increase, plus the force that you get from it. Well, look at this. Bang! One hit, laters. It's really, really good. And we're going to go up against two zombies now with the baseball bat. Bang! Straight across the floor. One's dead, one isn't. And bang, another hit finishes him off. Really, really good damage from that perk we picked up there. And it will help you 
when you get through into the hotel and eventually to the first boss. Having that force perk is going to be like a really nice thing to have on your weapon. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful and you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe for more Dead Island 2 content. I'll be back at you very, very soon. But until then, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.